for the function in part C, f of x equals negative absolute value of x plus 4. This one, we see the negative sign in the front. And inside, there is nothing in there. And then added by 4 on top of everything. The more basic function is g of x equals absolute value of the x or the absolute value of function, which is the graph in a V-shaped form. Horizontal shape seen inside is the, just the x. If you see x minus h, where h is a non-zero number, so the horizontal shape will occur. So in this case, the h is zero. Therefore, no horizontal shape. For the vertical stretch compressed similar way, the coefficient of the x inside here is one. So no vertical stretch or vertical compress. The x-axis reflection, that means the function value flip from positive to negative or negative to positive from the negative side involved, the negative side part over there. So that part for the x-axis reflection, so we say yes. For the y reflection, that means if you put negative x, it will get the same result as positive x value, which is true. Any positive or negative, when you put in the absolute value, it's going to turn out to be the same value. So this is yes. For the vertical shift, it's the additional value that add on top of the basic function form. In this case, is the value 4. So we say the vertical shift is 4, which is positive number. So going to be 4 units upward. Yeah. The basic function form is a sketch in total. So this is a more basic function graph. The g of x equals absolute value of the x. When it has the x reflection, so the graph will flip to the bottom. And also chip upward, like four units. So we're going to start from reflection and then add it by four. So reflection. This is the absolute value with the negative sign in front. And after that, we ship it upward four units from the zero, zero, go up one, two, three, four, up there. So we get the graph of the f of x in this form. So this one is the negative absolute value of the x plus four. In part D, the f of x is the square root of negative x. The more basic function going to be in the form of the gx equals the square root of the x. And the sketch of the graph is the radical function form. The horizontal shift, this one, it has nothing in there. So basically, plus zero there. So going to be none. Vertical stretch or compress. It's negative one in the front here, so we do not have the vertical stretch or compress. X-axis reflection in the front is a plus sign, so that means no X-axis reflection. Y-axis reflection, yes, because we have negative sign applied to the X before. Uh, we take the square root, so this one is yes. Vertical shift. Nothing added on top of the whole radical. So this one, none. Put all together so the dotted curve or in this color for the graph of square root of the x. When x zero, square root zero is zero. x is one, is one. x is four, gonna be two. x is nine, is gonna be three. So this is the more basic function graph of square root x. And then with the reflection about the y-axis, we're going to flip this way. For x1, going to be the same as the function at x negative 1. Here. 
let's go ahead and flip it up over there at negative four. The square root of negative negative four, which is square root four, gonna be two. And for the negative nine, negative of negative nine become positive nine. The square root is three. Go that way. So this is the negative x inside of the uh, square root. The domain and range. In this case, the domain of the green curve is negative infinity to zero, including zero. The range gonna be from zero to infinity.